And here's a bonus fail in this video here. Um, the 707 and 22. It looks like it's missing. It's not going to show up. These people are waiting for it. And it uh, doesn't look like it's going to show up at all. So the next 22 will wind up being jammed as a result of that. Um, see, these people are all waiting for the... They're all waiting for the... Uh, 70722, which hasn't showed up yet. I did see a bus go out of service, but the bus probably won't show up. And being that it's signed here, I have something very surprising for you, and I want you to read the link below in this video. Jack Martins wants to get rid of Transdev. He wants to void the contract uh, and possibly bring back the MTA. At least uh, that's what the article on Newsday leads me to believe. They had an interview. Laura Curran, she don't care about us. She's a uh, she's just a, she's just a liar, is what she is. So. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to say vote for Jack Martins. Uh, whoever is going to get rid of this horrible company, Transdev, uh, has my vote uh, uh, for county executive. That's the bottom line. And if uh, Martins wants to get them out, bring back MTA, then he's got my vote. There's a 22, but it just went out of service, so I don't know if it's going to do a run back or what. But uh, it's clear that the 707 and 22 never showed up. And the following rush bun will be run will be crowded and I was going to take that to go home and now I will have to find another way back probably the 24 and you may ask why don't I take the train well because it costs more and thanks to Governor Andrew Cuomo approving the uh, minimum wage hike uh, I have uh, my, my money is very tight now because everything costs more thanks to Andrew Cuomo and his minimum wage hike Jack Martin said in the article he said that uh, uh, the contract has not saved the county money, and it was foolish, uh, you know, in the long term uh, to get Transdev. So, uh, and by the way, uh, Laura Curran pri pr uh, favors privatizing the sewer system. So Laura Curran actually probably favors this. She's really just one of these snobby rich people. Uh, Jack Martins, uh, she's for the snobby rich people. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to endorse Jack Martins because he said he wants to get rid of, rid of uh, Transdev, and anyone, like I said, wants to bring in a Bring back the MTA, get rid of this company who can't maintain their buses, uh, where buses don't choke. Every day, buses are missing. Every day. And it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Especially when the taxpayers of Nassau and New York State wind up footing the bill for this private company, which uh, puts profits ahead of service. It's pretty clear that we need the MTA back to operate our bus system here in Nassau County. And now it is 7.30, and the 7.30 bus, the 7.30 N22, has not arrived yet either. So, uh, something very fishy going on tonight. Again, very similar to what we experienced in Freeport the other night, where many buses just aren't showing up at all. Uh, and it's either due to breakdowns or a labor uh, action or some sort. Uh, I'm thinking breakdowns. This company needs to be gone. Transdev is a company that has put profits ahead of people ahead of the service uh, and they ask for more and more money every year the county thought they were getting a bargain but you can see it's not a bargain because literally we are getting ripped off by a company that cannot keep buses on the road that where runs go missing and they still collect a lot of money from New York State even though the county doesn't ship in much and uh, it all winds up going uh, to Transdev and going abroad to France so this is what you get with the privatization of essential services which is why I oppose privatization of essential services and we'll continue to do so and we'll continue to uh, here comes the 49 uh, I will continue to oppose privatization of essential services because this is what happens when you privatize essential services companies put profit ahead of service and what you get are a bunch of people waiting for a bus that's probably not going to show up and who knows maybe the 730 will also be missing and who knows maybe the 24 will also be missing and I'll have to take the train in the end anyway I'm just glad I have that option. I see a bus sitting over there. I don't know what bus that is. Maybe it is broken down. Uh, we'll see in a minute. Uh, that bus might be broken down. It's very possible. I don't know why it would be parked there. Well, I saw a driver walk into it, so let's see if that bus moves now. Uh, I think it might be broken down. I don't know. We'll see in a minute here if it moves or not. Uh, where is the mainstream media? The mainstream media is not here. This is why, I, even though I said I would uh, scale back videos, whenever there's transportation problems, this is something I have to keep talking about because no one else is, and uh, I feel it is my duty to talk about it. Uh, it is 
You know the saying, if you see something, say something. If you see something wrong, if you see something corrupt, we have to speak up. We can't be sheeple about it. Consider all the people who have cameras in their phones. And consider all the people who, who have these cameras and don't film any of this stuff because they're either afraid or more likely they're just too self-absorbed because that's the way society has become now to speak up about this kind of thing. So let's see if this bus moves. Looks like he just started it up. Oh, well, maybe not. That bus may be broken down. Let's see what happens here. And the 22 still hasn't showed up yet, so uh, let's see here. The bus still hasn't moved yet. Yeah, I think that bus might be broken down. Because why would the bus park there? It makes no sense. Let's see, that looks like that is a 22 according to the sign. Oh, maybe it is on the move now. It is on the move now. Right, so it is not broken down. The driver just parked the bus there. And I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to, but they parked it anyway. Because this is what this company hires. They don't train the drivers properly. And so what you get, you get crap service with crap training and no one gives a shit about service and now this bus will wind up being overcrowded as a result and late and here comes the 22 and this is 730 22 it is 738 uh, and you can see the driver just took a break over there so what was he doing uh, he obviously doesn't care because these guys they're hiring don't care about the schedule and then this guy is going to be crowded uh, I'm passing this bus up obviously because I don't want to be on a crowded bus most people don't, but when you ride nice, you're riding on more crowded buses that are less reliable, and guess what happens? You lose riders. And a uh, nice bus has lost a lot of ridership uh, compared to MTA. Uh, uh, I'm sure we probably half of what MTA uh, carried back when they were here. So uh, this is what you're getting uh, with Transdev. And uh, I'm going to keep showing you this because I think it's important, especially now with the election coming along, that people see these videos and realize what's going on in their county government and that... Ed Mangano and the Nassau County Legislature, and I will say everybody in the Nassau County Legislature, including Mrs. Laura Curran, approved the contract uh, when, this con when this was pro proposed back in uh, 2011. They all voted for it. They all voted for this contract, every single one of them. Uh, and think about that. So uh, Jack Martins wasn't on the legislature then. So uh, all I can tell you is this. I'm tired of having to wait for buses that don't show up and then having to pass up the bus because it winds up getting too crowded uh, because the bus didn't show up and then i got to wait for the next bus. So I'm tired of it. Uh, I'm tired of Transdev. I'm tired of Nice Bus. And Jack Martins, if you want to get rid of this company, you have my vote. That's all I have to say because I am tired of this shit. And so should you.